This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Bro gang. <laughs> that was really bad. We are joined by the king of kleptomania, Lawrence Schlossman, and myself, the scooter sultan, James Harris. Welcome to the weekly Running the boys with today's full episode only available on patreon.com slash throwing feet. Ciao, Bella and Bellos. Um, coming to you live from Milano. We must be we, Milanese the way we stay breaded and fried. Very nice. Uh, we've been here for about a week now. Mm. I'm having the right? best time, dude. It's actually, I think this is our most, our most fun work trip yet. For sure. Um, maybe we always bring the wags. But before we get into, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so much. Getting cat called by two gay Italians in a Lambo. Pulling up to the gay bar meet to meet. And a third gay thing <laughs> yeah, to keep say. it on theme. Um, <laughs> real quick. I want to get into some housekeeping. Words. Wait, real quick. Oh, cheers to us. Salute. Salute. Oh, hey, chin chin. Um, all right. So first up, first and foremost, thank you to everyone who bought the Our Legacy Workshop Throwing Fits t-shirt, the box tees. Many people are saying collaboration of the year. Many people. Like a podcast collaborating with one of the best brands in the world. Like who to thunk yeah. it. There's only one, only one pod could have done this. Yeah. Um, from that high note to a bit of a little bump in the road, the shorts had a little hiccup with customs. You know how it'd be. Call me Ben Baller because I'm fucking up these customs. <laughs> um... They are scheduled to touch down on Juneteenth at the Fulfillment Center. So whether or not they're shipping out today, which is June 19th, or kind of or tomorrow, kind of depends on whether the Fulfillment Center gives their workers the day off for Juneteenth or not, which we clearly did not give ourselves Juneteenth off because we're no just racist, well, racist Americans. Also, again, this podcast is three-fourths white. Mm. Okay, let's get off this. Um, but yeah, so shorts will be touching down and shipping out expeditiously. Sorry for the wait. Uh, but yeah, a little fucking, they were like, these holes are too pristine. Yeah, dude. You know how it'd be with, uh, with good ass Jones. They take time. Good things come to those who wait. One of the Malaysian children that was hand poking each mesh hole was actually tried to, uh, stow away in the box of shorts. So I think that's <sighs> actually what happened. Damn dude. Yeah. Human trafficking. Another thing that the only podcast that matters does better than anyone else. Housekeeping complete. Let's get into a fit check once. Why don't you start us off, buddy? I've been talking a lot. Why don't you start us off? Okay. I wore more Haas horse bit loafers downstairs. I am wearing white socks. I am wearing vintage polo inverted double pleated shorts from chickies that will make sense next week because we recorded out of water <laughs> i am wearing a vintage brionski also from chickies hanes pleaser hair did roly on the wrist wifey on the pinky writing wedding ring on the thingy i'm out of order sun buddies on the table and i am sipping on a bira massina mm. the goat italian beer in my humble ugly american opinion shout out cecilia i do like how much Quanto ounce is this? 50 CL. I do like the different beer sizes that are, they don't only have like 12 ounce or 16 ounce or 24 ounce. I don't even know what this is. All right. Uh, I am wearing Arla Gacha Camion Mules, the white paint joints. Shout out Martin. Um, MF Pen, uh, kind of like Chefy Pants. Yes, Chef. The fucking, oh, I'm going to do Hanes Boxers. I'm going to end with the piece of resistance. Uh, Maiden Name Rings. Vintage Seiko watch, which shout out my new best friends on the Reddit. Yo, the Reddit is fucking with the watch. I know. Bro. I love the guys on Reddit. I don't also, know, why, I don't know guy, why I ever called the sub the subhumans a subreddit. I take it all back. Though that guy just doesn't subscribe to Patreon because we talked about it at length on uh, last week, boys only. Vintage Seiko. Uh, I believe it's a bust down on the bezel. Chew. Uh, smooth movement. Tiki Taki from Frank the Mad Dog at Leisure Center. And the piece de resistance. Whew. The Our Legacy Workshop. Dancing harder than the CZs in your watch. T-shirt. Uh, many people are saying collaboration of the year. Many, as we said. Um, I wasn't allowed to wear the black on our big pod day. <laughs> it wasn't that you we weren't allowed. It. I just made a request that, you know, as a, a bigger boy, even though, you know, I'm shedding the fucking weight, uh, black tees are better for certain shapes and sizes. Yeah, and speaking of the big boys, um, as you already know, because this came out after all the shirts sold. It's full size from, from 44 up to 54. That's so, a full size. Big boys, we got you. Yep. Um, drinking a Messina Bira. 
a Coca Zero and trash Milano tap water. Bro, the tap here is so bad. I know. Jenna how long have we to drink it? How long have we? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's why you went to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Got it. The, uh, she tried to buy Gas X because you know the meals hit a little bit diffy, mm. um, and she had to use the Google Translate app and show the pharmacist fart in Italian. How do you say fart? Uh, <laughs> I have it right here. Let me just pull it up. It is Scoreggia. <laughs> Le tutti. <laughs> a little tutti. A tutski. <laughs> oh, your fart, your Dude, fart sounds are unmatched. Uh, <laughs> I'm so, you did a fart sound during our Pod Maniacs Milano uh, compilation with Gallagher, and I was dying laughing. <laughs> it was a good one. He um, was trying to make some point about fucking, like, I don't know, Dolce and Cabana. He's just like, <laughs> I think all the, the Marlboro Golds that I've just been fucking inhaling have only enhanced my sound effects. <laughs> the human soundboard. Um, the human beatbox. I will say the wags are out. And when the wags are away, the boys will play. Unfortunately, oh. yesterday they were both here, and uh, that was not a great podcasting experience for everybody. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we've been in Milan for, depending on when you start, I guess, because we've been here five or six days. So let's get into the meat yeah. and potatoes of the maniacs in Milan. Um, started on Tuesday evening, Tuesday, June 13th, my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Mrs. Harris. Belated. Uh, first up, you know, you and I, I think that what we've realized is that when we hit the ground, we need to be fucking off and running. So yep. it only made sense that we once again fly business class because the red eyes, we need to sleep on those. Yeah. In order to get up when we get here and look our best, be our best, feel our best. Premium, premium economy is not premium enough for the goddamn Absolutely motherfucking not. boys. If I ain't flat, I ain't coming. <laughs> like busting yeah I, I only bust when she's on top <laughs> if i ain't horizontal i ain't leaving the door horizontal you slept like the whole time so it was actually like perfect well it started off with a, a chauffeur ride which i was like yo dog complimentary we're already saving money don't get a hundred dollar uber to jfk yeah. during rush hour uh two separate ubers let's make sure you book the free chauffeur what car did you get escalade Fire. Big body. Nice. And we had a ton of luggage because, you know, Jenna plans multiple fits for every single day. So thank God for Emirates. Yo, best, can I just say best airline in the world sponsored the pod? Do we yeah, do that anymore? Shout out know. Saudi Arabia. Um, what MB- was yours? MBZ bang my line. I had a Lincoln Continental, which was nice, except he, he showed up early. It was scheduled for like a 720 pickup yeah. and he pulled up at 705. And I was like, I'm not ready yet. I'm still <laughs> packing. I wasn't in a rush to get to the lounge like you. We'll, yeah. we'll get to you. But um, so he's waiting down there for 15 minutes while I'm like getting my last toiletries, brushing my teeth. And uh, I come down right as a, like a, a bus is like leaning on its horn. And I just see this guy just going like this, just fucking <laughs> bird up um, to the school bus or whatever. <laughs> it was, and I'm, like, I'm just like, oh, all right. <laughs> so, so your chauffeur was flicking off fucking children in a school bus. Yeah. <laughs> that was he as a driver, a psycho as well. I was like, oh, this guy must work for Emirates because he's flicking off a school bus full of Jewish children. <laughs> Damn, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, he was. Shout out to Emirates. Yeah, he was a good driver. Um, (laughs) Pull up to the lounge. You guys are already fucking posted. We had been there, dude. So Jenna had a lot of beef with TF wasting money, um, which again is our money to waste if we so choose. Wait, instead of it going to her coffers? I don't know what what the alternative was. I think she just uh, didn't believe it was a a necessity, unlike... Oh, Flying Rizness. Flying Rizness, yeah. Yeah, until she got a little taste. Until she fucking was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to come too, and I'm also Flying Rizness. And then it was a thousand Instagram stories reviewing every fucking minutia of the fucking Rizness class experience. (laughs) She was on her fucking... Vamp like she was like, yo, I'm vamping. I ain't sleeping. I'm not sleeping. I ain't going nowhere. Um, the lounge was fine. Yes. I mean, I ate dinner there, so like mm. it could have I mean, I probably would have rather had McDonald's if I'm being totally <laughs> totally frank. But um, yeah, it was cool, but we definitely got there by design way too early so that we could again just luxuriate and marinate in the lap of luxury. Mm. Uh, I did not do that. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm going to spend as much time at home as possible. And yeah, hit the lounge, charge up, which I forgot my charger. Um, so go to the iPhone store, buy a charger um, on personal. Yeah. Not on TF. Uh, have Je- some delicious Baba Ganoush crisps, which those were good. When Jenna saw you walk in and I didn't realize, she, and it was, this was obviously uh, 
Happy belated also to Grimace. They don't celebrate his birthday in Italy, which is a fucking crime. What's, it's but, pronounced Grimace. Grimace. <laughs> but Jenna goes, because you're wearing your industry hoodie, shout out the fucking boys, Mick and Con. She goes, look at fucking Grimace over here. 